I can't believe it's over. I've been reading the comic for five years now. And I know it's not the 16 years everyone else has been reading it. But I've been reading it for five years. And I can't believe it's finally over. I went, I've been, I seen a glimpse of a headline online saying The Walking Dead is over. Didn't know if it was a comic or TV show. I just tended to ignore it. And then when I started this issue, I'm like, okay, no, it's the comic. The comic is the one that's ending. And I was just shocked I did I don't want I'm so sad that's over I really don't want it to end but since it actually is over what an incredible way to end this where they do time skip I'm assuming it's somewhere between 15 to 20 years or maybe even more but I get the idea that Carl is the same age Rick was when he died so it kind of serves and Carl even kind of symbolizes Rick a bit with the beard but so Carl was married to Sophia, which is not really a surprise because I think most people have predicted that from like the prison days that they'd end up together because they were the only two kids and they actually have a daughter and they named it after Andrea, which is kind of a spit in the face to Lori if you not if you don't mind because she's Carl's actual mother, but it was still good. We didn't actually. I was thinking when we heard Andrea, I'm like, oh, he's probably got a son named Rick. We don't, and also Sophia's mother, Carol. She <laughs> that's another spit in the face to her and just names it after Andrea. But in fairness, I think they both knew Andrea a lot better than they knew their actual mothers, so it does make sense. But then we also get to see we get to see Herschel all grown up, and I was shocked by that. When I said Herschel, I'm like, who the, who the hell's Herschel? Because he's been he's been such a background character. But then when we see him, he he looks like Glenn. I could I actually thought it was Glenn. I'm like, oh my god! And then because the world has moved on to a point where it's pretty much like ours, he's got he's like he's like it's like he owns a circus, but he walks around showing walkers, and one gets loose. Carl kills it as you would in this world and a bring court case happens and then Carl is found he's found innocent but he has to go find a replacement he doesn't want to find a replacement because he thinks it's a bit ridiculous so he goes and kills all the other walkers and he goes on his journey and we get to see all the other characters like Eugene who's really old looking and we get to see what he actually was planning on doing I think it was like five six issues ago which was repairing the trains so all he's been doing this time is just building and building tracks we get to see Maggie who looks ridiculously old Who's now the president, which is it's insane. She got two guards inside. Him, they called her Madam President or something like that. And she doesn't like it, but she has really turned into kind of Pamela Milton, and her son, who is Herschel, has really, really turned into Sebastian. And it's mentioned in the issue, but it makes sense. You could see where they're coming from, and we also we actually also get to see Sebastian, and he's still in the he's still in the cell. He's got a huge beard, and. It's we see Pamela kind of in the background of the cell and I'm like okay it actually went through he is still in prison we also get to see Michonne and she's now I think she's the judge of the high court and she doesn't go by Michonne anymore I think she goes by Miss How Houghton something like that but even she looks so much older they all just look so much we see Jesus and Aaron they're living on some little island by themselves and they're older it's just we get to see we don't get to see Negan we get to see an idea that he is still out there by himself he never actually came back to the community like you said to Rick but Carl goes every, I don't know, it's not It's not every week or so, but he goes every now and again, he just drops supplies from Negan. They're always taken away, so Carl knows he's still alive, but he just hasn't seen Negan in so long. And I was kind of disappointed by that, because I really, really did want to see Negan, because he's one of my favourite characters. So not getting to see him was disappointing. But we got to see a grave outside titled Lucille, so that was kind of cool. So we knew that actually was Negan, and there was no doubt that it was him. Even... We get to see Lydia, and we we know that it didn't work out between Carol and Lydia. It was kind of obvious it never would, but we get to see how they're actually still friends. But you can tell that Sophia doesn't really trust her, and it makes sense because Lydia is a bit of a psycho, and her mother was Alpha. So, but we have Carl's going around with an eye patch on because he doesn't want his daughter to see him without it because that reminds him of Debt and the old world. And since his daughter has never seen a walker, he doesn't want her to actually see his face because when you, you see him turn around in the bed and the side of it it just does look like a walker's face so you understand why he didn't want to show her but you still have to it's still kind of sad and he reminds me the you know, eye patch itself looks a lot like i can't remember the guy's name but in game of thrones the ginger with the sword that lights on fire his eye patch look a lot, a lot like that so he his character the, carol looks like a bit of him and rick which was it was a bit weird to mix the two universes together and i don't think he'd be the first character that most people go to, but that's exactly where my mind went to the first time. But the issue, I just, I, I only found out, I think it was yesterday that was ending, and I was just shocked the entire time reading it. I was reading it on the bus, and I was just, because I picked it, I had to go, 
I think I went to five comic book stores to get it. It took ages to find. I have to go all the way across Dublin to get this comic. Because usually when it goes, I get into, it comes out Wednesday, I get into the comic store about five o'clock, six o'clock on Wednesday. And there's usually loads of them there. So I thought, okay, even though maybe the last one, I said it'd be a lot because there usually is. Even last month's, there was like 10, 15 left. And they ordered 50 of them and there was none left. So I went to another one, none, another one, none. So I called and said, yeah, we've got one copy left. So I went all the way across from Dublin, from town to Dundrum. And they had one copy left, they had a side for me, and I was chuffed. I was so happy they actually had it, because I don't know what I was going to do. I checked, it It wasn't on the Apple Store to read it. For some reason, I couldn't download Comixology, so I started to panic even more. And I checked eBay, and it was 40 euro there. I'm like, oh, I can't really justify 40 euro for a comic. But I finally got it, and I was chuffed. I was actually reading it, and sitting there at the bus stop. I didn't want to read it on the bus stop. I wanted to sit on the bus and read it. And I was just, I could feel myself itching in the back of my neck, getting so excited to read it, and... As soon as I open it, I'm like, oh, this is good. We get to see Carl actually has Michonne's sword because she doesn't want it anymore. So we get to see Carl has it. I wonder if Carl has Rick's gun. We actually never got to see it. I don't think we'll actually ever get it. I'd be surprised if we ever get a sequel. But I assume Carl has Rick's gun. We even, when we're in the Commonwealth area where Michonne is, we get to see a huge statue of Rick, which was, I think, it was in 191 when Rick is giving the big speech and he has his hand up in the air. We get to actually see a big statue of that and Carl doesn't like it because he makes him look like a hero, like a big huge superhero. But Carl knows he wasn't like that because he was actually there for that. But the whole thing ends where Carl is sitting on a rocking chair with his daughter Andrea and he's reading her story about the great Rick Grimes. And as it goes, as it flicks through, we get to see, I'll show you, we get to see all these people that Rick has helped through all the years. And it shows them what they're doing. Like even here, you get to see Yukio and Magma. Magma, they're sitting on. I don't know what her name is, but um, they're sitting on the bench here feeding birds, which you would never actually think would happen in The Walking Dead. But Rick has provided a life and the world for all these people to actually live in, and they're actually able to do this. And I just thought it was amazing. And I'm extremely disappointed it ended, but I'm glad we got to see. It, it was a satisfying ending. I'm glad we did get to see an ending and it didn't go on to a point where it got ridiculous like the commonwealth arc was kind of boring and it wasn't that interesting but the fact that that's how it ends i'm not really happy with that but that the walking dead itself is over i'm extremely sad by it because it's my favorite comic book of all time and i've read a few comics and this always comes back to it like but I've been thinking, I don't know what I'm going to read now, because this is something I get monthly. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to look, because I don't want to start the Hulk or Iron Man, because they just reboot all the time. I want a consistent comic that when someone dies, they're dead. And it's just, it's a continuing story rather than every six months they reboot it. So I'm going to have to look into that and find something good. But I can't, I don't think I'll ever find something as good as The Walking Dead, even though I'd love to, but I don't think there's ever, I'm ever going to find something as good as this. But I would love to. Overall, I really, really, really love the issue. I'm so sad it's over, but to me, it's a perfect issue. It's a perfect ending to this amazing story. I can't imagine this, the TV show is going to do the same ending. I say the TV show is going to surpass this by a lot. Because I, I don't think AMC is going to want this stuff. But I, I'm just so disappointed that it's over because I'd love more. I can't believe Kirkman decided to end it here because I think there would be so much more he could do. Even though to him, it probably doesn't seem like it. But maybe he could have passed it on to someone else. But... I don't know. I know I'm actually currently reading through Invincible, but it's been like a year process and I kind of stopped for a while. But that's another one that he just, I think he ended it about maybe 50, 60 issues before actually where The Walking Dead ends. But that that as well is great, so I might actually just go back to rewatch or rereading that. But I just can't, I, I really, I'm just, my mind is just blown. I just read the final issue of The Walking Dead. But if you actually did read the issue yourself, let me know what you actually thought about it. And as always, thanks for watching.